It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. Hey guys, Sally here. So on TikTok, I found a very disturbing video that I want to respond to on my platform largely because the content that's being promoted on that platform is very much disturbing. This video I'm going to respond to comes directly from the content creator called I Am Qtop. And this content creator has over 952,000 followers and over 17.6 million likes for his videos. So the question then becomes, why exactly do I want to respond to this content creator? Well, without further hesitation, well, let's check out the original video and get my own personal response after the video plays. What's up, Christ Gang? I'm making this video to clear up false allegations on my name. A lot of people on the internet are accusing me of being a P3DO. Um, I just want to make this very, very clear. I am not a P3DO. So it all started when I joined Parker's Live um, and I was asked the question. I want to know if you're saying that it's okay for you to sleep with a minor, someone who's 987, just because they hit puberty. I need to know that. I want to go to an objective standard, right? And the objective standard is, what does God's word say about this? Before we get started with that, um, I just want to make it, make it clear. Um, I prefer what the Bible prefers, right? So I, I don't just have my own opinions for these issues. I look at what the Bible says, right? And so essentially for preferring what God's word says, I'm called a P3DO. So the Bible does not specify a specific age for marriage. The Bible gives two specific things that would imply that a female is ready to engage in sexual intercourse within marriage. Now, those two things are if the female is physically mature and if she is emotionally mature, physically mature. What it's saying is the female has to have menstruated, okay? Within Jewish culture, the menstruation of a female signifies her physical maturity. Different females, right, hit this at different ages, emotional maturity. Now, what is emotional maturity? Is a female mentally ready or mentally capable of making that decision to engage in sexual intercourse. Now, different females obviously mature at different rates. What's really, really, really important about this thing, right, is that you cannot put a specific age on it. That's why the Bible does not mention a specific age for marriage, right? Different females are emotionally mature at different ages and different females are physically mature at different ages. Within ancient Israel context, we understand that females matured at a much younger age, right? The reason being is because there was much more responsibility on these females within society, within that culture, right? Nowadays, females mature way later in life. My beliefs are consistent with scripture and I stand by scripture and scripture alone. Before I do my rebuttal for the main argumentation of the video, I first want to first psychoanalyze what drives people to make such crazy argumentations such as this one that we just saw. There are two types of morality when it comes down to personal choices for individuals. The first type of morality is known as horizontal morality, and the second type of morality is known as virtual morality. It says right here, if F is the philosophy of right and wrong behavior, then morals frequently refer to what is considered right and good by most people. Good behavior is moral behavior, whereas bad behavior is immoral. Furthermore, moral issues often center on person-to-person -person behavior. Domains theory and ethics consider the social standards of right and wrong and how we treat others. Dr. Larry Nussi begins the discussion of domain theory by drawing distinction between morals and social convictions. Where ethics consider issues of right and wrong, Conventions are arbitrary because there are no inherent interpersonal effects of the action they regulate. Newsy provides the following example taken from the interview with a child to illustrate this point. The choice comes from them. There's actually total restriction and total freedom, and there's also the red zone in the middle. And on NEPA, it's like domain theory where it says the personal domain. 
my body, my expression, my association, and that the moral domain is about fairness, mutual respect, and also the concern for other. And conversational domain is all other rules of social behavior. Newsy further elaborates that moral issues are matters concerned with welfare and physical harm, psychological harm, fairness and rights, and positive behaviors towards others. He argues that moral issues are independent of social norms. Judgment of moral issues are justified in terms of harm or fairness that action would cause, while judgments of convictions are justified in terms of norms and the expectation of authority. Nancy concluded that the core of human morality is a concern for fairness and human welfare. In other words, domain's theory has a powerful focus, social relationships, the very ability of people to get along with one another. Said differently, where the choice continuum center on a virtual respect or respect for the institution, domain theory center on horizontal respect. In other words, the creator that I'm responding to is using something that is known as divine command theory. And divine command theory is the view that morally is somehow dependent upon God and that moral obligation consists in obedience to God's commands. In other words, if God said that something is good, therefore it must be good because God says so. If God says something is bad, it's actually bad because God says so. And the argumentation that the Creator is using is because the Bible is actually saying that there is no age restriction for a young girl to be with an older guy, therefore it's good because God says so. So not only is this creator using top-down morality, but the way to justify the whole entire case is morally bankrupt. Now earlier in the video, he made the argumentation that when a girl begins to menstruate, that's actually okay for when old men can actually sleep with little girls. Now, we do know that periods usually happen to girls roughly around the age of 12, that some girls will start them later and some earlier, that everyone is different. And to start with, periods might not happen every month, but the ages around 16 to 18 is where most people who menstruate will find their periods are regular. Now, when it comes down to the earliest age for when girls get their periods, it could be actually around 8 or 9 years old. This whole entire argumentation is just so corrupt because he's not necessarily considering the psychological trauma that a girl will experience if they actually get raped, the physical trauma that the girl will experience because the girl gets raped. It's not necessarily considering all those factors. It's actually saying, well, because God says that a girl getting raped is actually okay, therefore it's morally justified. That is just disgusting. Underneath this sick, twisted, and domestic logic, you can actually justify terrorism because God says so. You can justify rape because God says so. You can justify anything that caused harm. Well, because my God said it's okay, therefore it's actually okay. How? Why do you need a book to tell you right from wrong? I don't understand the mindset. Well, because the book says okay or not okay, therefore it's okay or not okay. That is like so twisted. When people say, I cannot kill or do these other kind of bad acts because the book says so, I'm honestly legit scared about them. It actually tells more about you than me. I don't want to hurt people, not necessarily because a book tells me so. I don't want to hurt people because largely... If I was in their shoes, it would be inflicting pain, and I do not want pain to be inflicted back on me. And so, it just doesn't necessarily make any type of sense to just say, well, the, because the book says so, therefore it's not okay. I don't understand that kind of mindset. If anyone watching this video truly believe in divine command theory, please, please seek medical help. I am not joking, by the way. Like, I'm legitimately concerned about people who feel this way. Now, obviously not every single person who's like a Christian or religious feel this way, but I'm deeply concerned about individuals who go this far to justify the stuff that they do. I don't think it's actually a good idea to say, well, because something higher than me says so, therefore it's okay. 
I would want you to think like regardless there's actually a god or no god that other people want to treat other people good because it's actually the right thing to do. That's all I'm trying to say right here. But what do you guys think about this whole entire video? Tell me in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. He's your only black friend, so he's your best black friend. I wouldn't have him for another black friend. Because black friends are rare as you should be aware. He smiles like Richard Pryor, so just sit and stare. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler. It's everyone's friend, it's Tyler.